Hello and welcome to another Build with Bear mailbag. Let me adjust my microphone a little bit here. Uh, yeah, uh, if you've never seen a mailbag video before, that's an odd way to start watching my content. But yeah, uh, I have an Amazon wish list. You'll see the show description in the uh, uh, YouTube video of uh, where you can go and check out that wish list. And yeah, uh, people pick up kits from that list and send them to me, which is awesome. Uh, Ultron. Uh, from the chat, uh, Ultron 100, picked this up, shipped it from Japan. It was stuck in customs for a while for some strange reason. Uh, sometimes the things on my wish list are from Amazon, uh, directly shipped from Amazon, Amazon Prime. They get here in a couple of days. Sometimes they got to come over from overseas. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is a, a cool looking kit. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move it down here so you can see the whole thing because my, my body blocks it. But yeah, um, this is one of the first RE100 kits. Um, this is uh, the third one that came out. It is the Gundam GP-04G uh, Gerbera. So it's the Gundam Gerbera um, from Stardust Memories, if I remember correctly. I'm not super familiar with this kit, but I love the look of it. I like the RE-100s. Um, so in, in, the, in, in scales uh, of quality, you know, builds and, and, and details, uh, when you deal with the 1-100 scale, you're generally dealing with high grade or master grade. And there was no real in-between. Full Mechanics is kind of the in-between, I would say, uh, for Iron-Blooded Orphans. That is an in-between. It's not really a high grade, but it's definitely not a master grade. Um, this is also that. This is a way to do kits that, in many instances now, RE100 are where you're doing your kits that you're never going to make a master grade of that because of the size of the kit it's in scale. Or, because it's not the most popular kit in the world, uh, you're not going to make a master grade of it because you're not going to sell... X number of units. So that's where the RE100 comes in. So it is uh, better than a high grade, but not a master grade. Uh, it is equivalent, I would say, of probably like a real grade in the 144 scale, which is certainly more detailed than a high grade. Um, these are cool looking kits. I, just, You know, it's basic. It's got a, a cool backpack. It's got a cool gun. It's got a cool shield. Uh, it's, you know, just a good looking Gundam. And this will be a nice, fun build. Uh, there's some stickers, and uh, we'll, of course, do that. And also, the RE100 uh, instruction manual is great. The RE100 never fail. I'm always really excited about that. Showing you what it's going to look like, showing you what the, all the components are. I mean, look at that. Uh, I'll turn it around so you can see better. Look at that leg uh, information right there. That's awesome. That's all the components and how they're going to interlock it's uh, very helpful. Um, so the thing with RE100 kits is that they're not necessarily the most uh, labor-intensive builds, uh, much like a high grade uh, rather than a master grade. So this is like a two-stream build probably instead of a three- to four-stream build like you would have with a master grade. Uh, a one to two instead of a uh, three to four is what I should say. Um, or two to three. I don't know. I'm rambling a little bit. But anyway, Ultron, thank you for this. And thank you for watching this video. Twitch.tv slash Pat Bear is uh, the streaming channel. YouTube.com slash Pat Bear is the YouTube channel. That's where you're going to find all my content. Please come watch the stream. Uh, and also, I should say this. This is what bought off my Amazon wish list. But some people, when they can, want to avoid Amazon. And I get that. So you also see a link to the USA Gundam store. USA Gundam store uh, is... a uh, a store that I think is does great work and they have great deals and, and that's an alternative. Uh, they don't have a wish list like Amazon set up, but you can buy a gift card and then you could send me a tweet. My DMs are open. Or you could send me a whisper on Twitch and go, hey, here is a gift card code that I got in my email. You can use this, put it towards whatever kit you want to buy. So you could do that. That's an alternative. And I want to say that here on Bill with Bear uh, uh mailbag because i often say it on my streams but i don't say it in the mailbag so i want to say that anyway thank you very much for watching this oh uh this is a 2015 kit because this is the beginning of the re line uh so it's not too old uh but it's not a brand new kit but it's going to be a fun build so uh i'll be working on this once i finish the astray blue frame because when you buy something on my wish list you jump the queue and even though i want to build the stuff that i bought at new york comic-con i cannot build it until this is done so buy things off my wish list to make me have to wait longer to build the things that I bought for the stream, I guess. I don't know. Bye-bye.